All right, stage four of track day featuring McLaren Senna. Here we go. Thrown into the fire. There's two more on track sessions for us today. So please try to remember that we're trying to promote the car on behalf of our partners. Right. What better way to promote the car than to challenge it against some special guests? Turbo Burst have brought out some GT3 cars for a dynamic display. So, we are up against GT3s. Alright, so once again, four goals to complete for stage four, the penultimate stage here. So far, the event has been pretty easy. Um, it's just costly, right? It's like limited time series. <laughs> Except moving very slowly, right? One stage per day. Alright, so McLaren Senna has been compared to a GT3 car for the road. Racing slicks have more grip than our regular Senna's tires, but with our upgrades, we should be able to catch up to the BMW GT3. Alright, so we need to catch up to the Beamer is the challenge here. So uh, PR 73.4 required. That's carrying over from previous stage, of course. So here we go. Catch up to the Beamer M6 GT3 to complete this event. So as soon as we Considered catching up. I didn't actually have to overtake. Good to know. Just get pull up right behind. All right. Pretty quick little goal there. So obviously, sooner you can catch up to the. I think Martinez was the beamer, right? Yeah. The quicker it ends, so less service bars are used. Right, so took about five and a half service bars for that goal one here. So let's continue on with the goal two. Might as well. Seems like Bjorn and Martinez are surprised by our pace. Great driving. All right, so goal two, we got uh, tailgating. And then place first in the timing board, I'm assuming, win. All right, so 2100 yards or 1920.24 meters. Ugh, what a selection of numbers they decided to pick out. 
All right, so PR requirement, just a single lap. 1920.24 is the... <laughs> like they goofed up that uh, number seems like uh, they specified 2100 yards but as it turns out it was 2100 meters and obviously in yards that would be even higher number so well there's that but nevertheless pretty easy goal as long as you have patience to stay behind Martinez driving some strange line. I thought I drove some strange lines, but uh, yeah. Spots in this vent. Yep. All right, so two goals down. And goal three. Uh, Use their clout to close the track on a challenge against us. Speed contest. So speed snap or speed record. Uh, the final sector of the track. So it must be speed snap. Prove your car's control, car control skills by winning without skipping. One of those. Yep, it is a speed snap. No skidding. All right, 254.1, 254 there is the target to beat. That should be a pretty quick one. Especially considering Beamer is not exactly a speedster in GT3, that's a gripper, if I remember correctly.
<laughs> uh, that was a major goof up. Uh, will that put the car in critical condition? Because I messed it up. At least the first time. Uh, just slightly. We only have one more goal left, so... Um, maybe we can wrap it up without servicing. Well, let's find out. Nice driving, but they think they're faster around the whole trail, of course. Keep moving that goalpost, huh? Challenge us to a fastest lap contest. Even though there's a lot of cars on track already. Alright, so conclusion of tri uh, stage 4. Stay behind the GT3s until you start your first hot lap. Better set up tires, so you'll need to heat them up. Good luck. Alright. So we got three laps to set the fastest lap. Right. And 76.7 is the new PR requirement. So stay in 18th position until the lap begins.
is another stage complete with the, the last fastest lap challenge done. Done. 11th place. They didn't take into account, uh, they didn't rank us by the actual fastest lap time, did they now? That is unfortunate. Uh, oh well. Yeah, first place didn't even get the best lap by by far. That's a pretty far off. 147. And then I came in at 138. Hmm. Huh. Interesting. But anyway, managed to get through yet another stage without uh needing to service the car mid stage so that's always a win all right so stage four goal four complete stage four complete and that's worth forty thousand racing dollars plus another 30 gold all right, so what does that put us? We got five in the first one, 10 in the second one. Um, and then the last one was 15, so 30, 30. So we're up to 60 gold. So the stage five payoff should be 40 remaining gold out of the 100 total available, plus the car itself, of course, which is the big prize. All right, so that's some impressive driving. I can't help but notice that Eric's helped install more than a set of new tires onto the car though <laughs> they're definitely all bolt-on upgrades i'll remove them without a scratch after today deal great all right so there we go another goal down that leaves us with one final goal for tomorrow the final day so stay tuned for the grand conclusion of track day McLaren Senna edition so all right thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video take care